Yes, I. Always remember, good people does bring strength. And bad people does bring weakness. Good people does bring strength, you know. Bad people does bring weakness, you know. When you are around good people, no matter who you are, you just feel welcome, you just feel, you know, acknowledge, you know. They will empathize with you, they will be empathetic, they will be compassionate. So, you know, you're feeling like somebody you now. The vibe, the vibe does go up to a height. And on the flip side of that, just like a coin, birds and numbers, moon, sun, everything have a flip side. The evil people and the bad people will make you feel like nobody. No matter how talented you are or how strong you are, their narcissistic traits and gaslighting and all these things is just to cut you down, to bring you down. You know? So you see, you see energy is a serious thing because as Ephesians say we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness in high and low places so there are entities that works through people we are there we are channels you know we are portals you know we are portals we are channels that could either be used by evil or good but it's, it's what you choose what you choose to let dominate your consciousness is what you will display as a person then. that is what you will display if you choose for evil and you know you're sadistic and you know you're, you're a wicked person and you choose wickedness that is how that is how your perception will be and that is how you will treat others your vibes will only be wickedness because that is that is your consciousness your consciousness is wickedness so that that will be you you know that will be you you know and that is something you care you care get away from you know? that that will be you <laughs> So it's very, it's very important. It's very, very important to to um, to know who you are. You know, it's very, very important to know who you are and use your your vessel for goodness. Because if you use your vessel for badness. What is the benefit, boy? All right, all of us as human beings, all of us made in the image and likeness of God in the first place. So why is the sense you're using your, your, um, your temple to glorify badness, so to be used by the wicked one to bring down a next human being just as yourself, boy? Think about it. What is the sense you using your the temple of the Most High, which is your vessel, what God made in His image and likeness? Why would you use that to do evil, boy? Why would you use that to bring down others? Why would you use that to, to distress the human race? Why would you use that to, to, um, to kill a whole family? Why would you use that to murder brethren why would you use that to, to cause you know wars and crimes and 
against humanity, boy. Why would you use the vessel of the Most High, the temple of the Most High God, to cause distress on humanity? Does that make sense to you? You understand? Does that make sense? That ain't making no sense. So it's better you, you use the vessel of the Most High God to bring love and peace and and unity and it's all for the benefit because that is what supposed to be from the beginning you just move in with foundation and 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 the root of what's supposed to take place because we supposed to be one family living in love under the you know the supreme being which is God we supposed to be like that but true to you know Adam and Eve they say and eat the forbidden fruit and and you know evil came into the world you know but be good be good and do good because there is nothing more there is nothing bigger than being good and doing good. Be good, do good for others. You know? Sometimes people just take your kindness for weakness. Yes, that is humanity. That is human. They will take your kindness for weakness. But you're just being a service to the light, you know? You are just doing a service as a child of the light and continue doing that because the bible say don't be wary of doing good because in due time you will reap a harvest you know if you don't give up and these things is just facts so my brethren and sisters continue being light continue being good continue being an elevation continue being soul salvation don't oppress the poor though do be do be a subtraction be a addition add to humanity add to people add a person needs something to eat you give them it a person needs something to drink you give them it you know don't don't be a vessel of wickedness and because it doesn't put you in a way at the end of the day, you're fighting for this, you're fighting for that. And the wisdom of God showed us, shows us. All the fight you fight, all the work you work, all the money you're making, all the things that you're fighting for in this world, you have to leave it one day. You know? One day you have to go down six feet under. One day you have to leave these things and transcend to higher heights. So why is he saying you're fighting for this and fighting for that and somebody gone on holidays and they hire you and you and your family working over to get the person who hire you because they come back from holidays and they want they, they want they work now they want back the spot but you you know get sweet in the people work the person just put you there for a little time you want to work over here now to get rid of the person who put you there for a little while. You understand? Why do these things? Why? Yeah, why do these things? Why do these kind of evil things, boy? Why plot evil against your brethren? Why try to d destroy your neighbor? Why, why dig a pit for your neighbor, boy? Is the same pit you go fall in. You reap what you sow. What goes around comes around. Alright, so just do good. You know, don't be a cut down, don't be a bring down, do you know? In your circle, wherever you are, where God plant you. Wherever you're planted. Be a light, be a, a a vessel of goodness, you know, be a vessel of soul salvation, be a vessel of enlightenment, you know, make people smile, make people jolly. Why is this why is this sense bringing down our next man on the workplace? Why is this sense trying to 
you know why, why is he sense carry news on a co-worker to the boss to see him get fired why is he sensing these things by why is he sense doing evil by why is he sense why is he sense why is he sense you know why is he sense Better you do good, do good because any benefit. You go reap it. You plant good seeds. It's good trees and you will eat the fruit of it. Sometimes it's not you eat it, you know. Sometimes it's your it's your children. Sometimes your grandchildren. Sometimes your your cousin. So plant good seeds so good trees will grow. And your offsprings will bear the benefit of the tree or the seed that you plant. If you plant evil seeds now, evil trees will grow, evil fruits will bear, and sometimes you're not are wrong. It's your own family eat the fruit. You know? Your own family eat the fruits. You understand? So plant good seeds. You know, the evil that men do live after them, and the good that men do live after them. You understand? You're working in an in a organization. Do good. Help people. So you, you never know. Sometimes... 20 years from now your own son come in that organization and what people go say hey that is um that is so and so son you know yeah 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 respect man and through the good deeds of his mom or his dad he end up being elevated in the work and he reach the highest in the work because of good deeds blessings you know blessings but on the flip side, you know what he gonna inherit if you was bad on the workplace and you do bad deeds and you dig a pit for neighbors, you dig a pit for co-workers. You see who falling in it? Your own son or your own daughter. So do good seeds, plant good seeds. The spirit said do good seeds. Yeah, do <laughs> plant good seeds, do good seeds. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, you go reap that, you know, you go reap the goodness you put out in the world, have a way of coming back to you. And it's the flip side too, the badness you put out in the world, have a way of coming back to you. Sometimes it'll come back to you, you know, come back to the, somehow the third or fourth generation, as the Bible say. We just come back because your children and your, your, grand, your family is who? Your family is you. <laughs> Yeah, it's done so. Do good, do good, do good. Continue as much good as you could put out in the world. Send it out in whatever way, you know. Sometimes, as I say, people just take your kindness for weakness. And they just want to hire like a clown because they know if they ask you for something, you'll give them it so they will take advantage. But continue doing good because you, 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 are, just, you are being of service as a child of light. So continue being of service as a child of light. And that is who you will always be, a child of light. Because you was, you was, you know, in the image, you was made in the image and likeness of the I am that I am, the God of Moses and Abraham and Isaac. You was made in the image of him. So all the evil that people do and they sell their soul and all these things they're doing and following that, that one who get thrown out of the heavenly kingdom and land on Mount Hermon with his, with his fellow angels. You understand? You are not of him. You are of the I am that I am. You understand? So, Choose your part wisely. Don't, don't um, don't choose the the losing party. Choose the winning party because the devil know his time is short. You know? He know, he know that he going down for his sins. So he want to take as many with him. Cause hell wasn't made. Hell. Hell wasn't made for the children of God, you know. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. He know that pit waiting for him. He know that. He know his time will expire soon. 
So he wanted to take as much. He wanted to take as much with him. So my people, don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. You know, be wise. Don't fall for the the material things, the cars and you know, you're, you're given the most precious thing which is your life we live in a dream here you know? when you transcend is when you now wake up is when you wake up, you know, to the real life when you wake up out of this this dream this sleep, this this um yeah, you know, this sleep, this sleepless slumber. When we awake from this sleepless slumber. Wow. When we awake from this sleepless slumber, that is when life truly begins, you know. Yeah, so don't fall for this dream. <laughs> this is just a dream, you know. Planet Earth is the hardest of all realms. When you come here to start, you start as a baby, you know. No matter how old you is, you could be a, you could be two thousand years. You have to start back here as a baby. You know, this is the place. This is the, this is the realm of manipulation. You know, you could, most people just learn, to learn the art of manipulation, in this realm. Yeah, this realm is, you could, you could um. You know how to manipulate energy, you know. Because everything here is, is basically an illusion, you know. Everything here is just an illusion. So here is just a dream. No fall for the, the illusionary atmosphere that we're living in. Everything here is just a dream. You know, the commercialism and the secular thing, and, you know. Everything here is, is man-made, you know. Man-made. Who made the clocks? Who made clocks to think time, to, to make time? Who write, you know, the, the days of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Who, you know, the, the months of the years? Who, who come up with these things? You understand? These things are just illusions. Illusions just to have here. You know, think in a certain way, conditioning, you know. You know, who come up with these things? Today, now was three o'clock. You understand? Who come up with these things? So everything is just an illusion. Just because the world say that this is so and so. The people, the normal people, just because they see it on the news, just because they see it on CNN, and they say it's so, you gone with that because that is so. Some of them is most times is not like that, you know. And that is why that why the world will never understand God because it's a peace beyond human understanding. And sometimes God does use the foolish things in the world, you know, the foolish things in the world. Who, who in the eyes of in the eyes of the Babylonian, it seemed foolish. But God knew more than that because it's, it's knowledge beyond human comprehension. Knowledge, you know, beyond human comprehension. You know? There's so much things in this vast universe that... Hmm, that the normal minded person can't comprehend but God alone knows that's why everything happens for a reason you know what is to be must be everything happens for a reason and all things work for the good of those who are called you know, according to God's purpose because God sees the biggest the big picture he on he in the tenth heaven you know <laughs> God in the tenth heaven, he on top, so he sees everything. You know what I mean? Nobody could fool God, you know. So when God do something, is 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 big, you know. 
mankind can't understand. Alright, so respect, you know, to each and everyone and continue doing good. Continue being on the righteous side. Respect. Jalive.